The Carabao Cup is an absolute disgrace. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Amir Sun. Hope you're well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. So out on the road here, but I just had to remark on the Carabao Cup last night uh, and the night before the games uh, that went on. Some interesting results. Three Premier League teams uh, went out. Uh, Bournemouth went out. Ipswich Town went out. And Nottingham Forest went out as well. Uh, but the main talking point, I'm sure you all heard is now, is that the, the draw for the third round thereafter the teams in Europe were always given a buy, and they've done this for the last couple of years. And West Ham, uh, my team, they've been beneficiaries of this for the last couple of years. So I don't have an issue with that per se, although I do believe that they shouldn't be given a buy. They should go in in the second round as it is. But what happened was all the teams in Europe this year were not only given a buy into the third round, but they were also guaranteed not to play each other. And also the first four that were drawn out of the hat in a previous uh, preliminary draw, let's say, were guaranteed to play at home. So that means that my team, West Ham, first out of the hat, they played at home to, uh, to Liverpool. So we're playing away at Liverpool. So Liverpool can't play Man City. They can't play Arsenal or anything like that. There was never a choice of this. There's never a chance of that. Now, for me, that is pure and simple match fixing. That, that is pure and simple uh, corruption at, at the very core. Regardless of whether my team is in Europe or not, if, we, if this happened last uh, season, I'll be spitting feathers as well. Because it's supposed to be an even playing field. When you go into the draw, it's supposed to be an even playing field. There's no seeding. There's nothing like this. There's no favouritism. You can, you can, you know, Premier League team could be fighting a, a minnow uh, in the next round or, or vice versa. Or two Premier League teams go head to head. You know, why do they get favouritism? What, so they can have a secure a better run in Europe? Absolute nonsense. It's made a mockery of the Carabao Cup. It's made a mockery of professional football and it's made a mockery of us as the fans absolute disgrace you know from one side of it I actually want to see every one of those teams get knocked out in the next round not anything against those teams but more against a, a protest against the Carabao Cup I mean what kind of a dickhead comes up with this kind of uh, you know policy what kind of bunch of numpties agree to it and think this is a good idea what kind of bunch of twats you know on the uh, sports media the special sports media haven't really come out and said anything bad about it and i certainly didn't know anything about it before it was going on i thought it's absolutely disgrace but as i say you know i know west ham my team are still in the cup and i'm going to support them but at the same time i'm very much thinking you know what Boycott it. Just, just can't be asked with it. Can't be asked with it. Season next season, they've got to drop this. They've absolutely got to drop this. If you're with me on that, let us know your thoughts. But it's got to be an even playing field for all teams. Otherwise, what's the point in having a cup competition? There's no point in having it because if the top teams are going to be favoured, and you know why they're doing it, they want to protect those top teams or the ones that are finished higher in the league or in Europe because they want them ultimately to have a much better chance of featuring in the semi finals and the finals, and that's where they can draw a bigger crowd or bigger TV audience. Absolute disgrace, absolute farce, and for me, the Carabao Cup, EFL just completely let themselves down let us know your thoughts in the comments below if you like what i do here don't forget to like and share the video subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell for all future videos and you never know i might come back with another rant very soon till now